Hey guys, welcome to the studio. And it's Campitura Day here in the studio. That's where I prepare these boards for my plain eye painting or in the studio studies. I have a bunch of 9x12s and uh, these huge ones, 12 by 16 inches. Let's do a quick recap now. So what's the first thing you do when you get this piece of board from the store? I'll give you 10 seconds for your answer. So let's play some elevator music right now. So the answer is, the first step is to remove the thin layer of uh, plastic shrink wrap. That is, it takes a while, but it needs to be done. That's the first step. I've got about 30 of these 9x12s and uh, maybe hmm, something like 10, 10 of these. I'll be mixing a tone of acrylics on it. I'll be using raw umber, white and a tinge of cadmium orange. So underneath all this rubble are two oil painting paper and I, I love this brand on top of those canvas boards I will be putting a tone or I'll be priming these sheets too and I use these sheets for my figure studies and portrait studies it was buried under all that rubble so campitura is an Italian word and it means field colour. This technique dates back to the Middle Ages but it was only until the Renaissance that it became a standard practice. What it does is to create this initial tone of colour so it's easier to judge when you begin painting and usually this campitura has an earthly tone to it. So once again guys, here's the process. I will be putting a coat of golden gesso, which is this, even though it's been primed, but I really like how golden gesso holds and clings onto the oil paint. So this first, and then followed by a tone. So the canvas when I'm painting is not like Iron Man, Logging into system. in other words, stuck. So here we go. Just a drop of water to get it going. And because I have so many pieces out here, I think by the time I finish the last piece, the first one would have dried. This is where you're going to be really puzzled because I'm going to be painting white on a white surface, so you're not going to see anything happen. But note that something is happening. This is the gesso. So know the amount of work that goes into every Elvin Mark painting, for sure. So the key word here is butter. You want it to feel like that soft, creamy texture. That's why you add a little bit of water to get it going. Just enough to have it like butter. So because I have some white left from the gesso, I'm just going to add some uh, burnt umber. Remember these are acrylics. And a tinge of um, cadmium orange. For 
this one because it's just a tone. Can add a little bit more water. Yeah. To thin it down even more. So this one I'm making has a little bit more skin tone feel to it. Saw this movie, it's called Aladdin. All the guy had to do was just do this and it's done. But hey, we're not in the movies, so we have that much to do. That's all folks, I am ready to head out to paint, so watch out for those videos right here on this channel, Elvin Mark. Ciao ciao!